Now, Dr. Moeti, after more than 30 years in search of a vaccine for malaria, one of the most deadly diseases on the continent, we now have a vaccine that is ready for piloting. Are you excited, anxious? Exactly how are you feeling? We're very excited to have reached this point where we actually now have a vaccine which prevents four out of ten episodes of malaria in children between the, under the age of two years, so five to 17 months. And we are ready to take it out, to try it out in real life and see how it can be integrated into vaccine uh, immunization schedules in countries. So I think it is a big, very exciting moment. But why, why are you piloting? Why not just, uh, you know, launch the vaccine across the continent and get uh, young children to start receiving the jab without having to go through a pilot? No, I, I, I think the, the recommendation that was made by the two independent um, advisory committees of WHO was to try it out on a wider scale out in the field to understand better um, several things, including still looking at, the, first of all, the, the, the operationality, if you like, of putting it into an immunization schedule, because it's slightly different from the routine other um, vaccinations that are being given to children. So we have to make sure that out there in real life it works. Secondly, to study further the adverse effects of this vaccine, uh, so as to be more convinced as we are recommending taking it out more broadly as WHO. What criteria did you use to reach these three countries, Kenya, Ghana and Malawi? First of all, these are countries that were themselves involved in the trials of the vaccine. Secondly, uh, we were looking for countries where there is uh, a high disease burden of malaria, so you can have uh, the, the, the possibility of seeing what, what was prevented in terms of cases. Um, there's also well-functioning programs both for malaria, where the other prevention interventions are being deployed, and immunization, where we can then integrate it into a reasonably well-functioning immunization program. This gives us the opportunity to study how it would work and also to see uh, what would be the impact on illness and uh, eventually uh, mortality in the context of uh, high uh, disease burden. And how long do you intend to run this uh, pilot project for? The preparatory phase is starting now in 2017, so it'll be from now until 2020. So we are expecting to start introducing the use of the vaccine in 2018, early next year. So just tell us more about the vaccine. Is it an injectable? Is it an oral one? How will the children receive it? What age? How many stages are there? It's an injectable, so intramuscular injection. Each child gets uh, four doses of vaccine, starting at the age of uh, five months. And then those, the first three doses are at monthly intervals. Then the last dose is uh, between 12 to 18 months after the, the, the third dose is given. Of course, the success of this vaccine will depend on African governments and the ministries of health in the various African governments. How have they received the news of their pilot and how are they receiving the news that finally there may be a vaccine against malaria? African governments are eagerly waiting for this additional two, I would say. And the three countries that were selected for this pilot program were very interested in trying out this, uh, this tool. Because we know, you know, if you can prevent severe malaria, if you can prevent episodes of malaria, this, this is uh, huge in terms of a contribution to the toolkit that we have for malaria in general. So countries are key. As a person who has worked on the continent for a long time, maybe in the health sector, you could tell us just how big is the burden of malaria in Africa, and especially sub-Saharan Africa? So overall, the, the number of deaths uh, from malaria each year is about 240,000, and I think 90% plus of those are in the, African, in the African region. So the mortality of malaria is mainly, mainly in Africa, for example. So the burden is, is heavy here, and this, we are the continent that has to make the most progress in terms of making a difference on the continent and globally. And finally, um, away from malaria, the African Union is in the process of setting up a CDC, something cl close to what the Americans have. Um, how do you think this will help in the fight against disease uh, burdens in the continent? Yes, I, I think it's a good thing, and it's an expression of the political commitment of African governments to addressing uh, outbreaks and, emerge and epidemics in the African region. Thank you very much. We wish you success.